Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. It is near Christmas right now when I'm making this video, and I am swamped with lasers to review. And believe it or not, I am reviewing a 10 watt laser. <gasps> I, you know, I don't recommend 10 watt laser engravers generally, but a lot of you reached out to me and you're like, hey, what if we're getting into lasers? We're beginners. We don't know that we want to spend seven, eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars on a 20, 30 watt laser and not actually want that. And uh, I'm like, yeah, okay. And plus, a lot of people don't have that kind of money. I mean, I understand uh, money is tight. So you wanted to get into lasers and uh, you got $430. I have to say, I recommend this laser. I it's the first ten watt laser I've recommended. I don't. I think ever. <laughs> I think ever. Uh, it, it just. I wish that all of the new lasers had all of the features this one does. I mean, everything about this laser is just amazing. It is so quiet when it's not working. You can't hear it at all. It's one of my pet peeves. You know, even a lot of the fifteen hundred dollar lasers. Like the module doesn't turn off ever. Like, and it'll have the worst fan noise you can believe. And I, I can't believe an engineer's not like, hey, wait a second, maybe we should put in a quieter fan. Or, hey, maybe we should have this thing turn off when it cools down or something. You know, you put in all that engineering to make a laser and you just, what are they thinking? I mean, do you really want a jet engine going off in your room all the time? And this laser is so, uh, the fan noise is just so pleasant. Uh, but when you're done, it's off. It has automatic air assist. So you, when, you know, you're not cutting, there's no air. And that, again, everything is dead silent. So if you're going to have this in your house and you're just trying out lasers, uh, you know, this thing, it's a 10 watt. So when you make something, it's going to take a while. Here's uh, what I made the first thing. And it came out really good. Uh, it's just a four layer uh, snowman. Uh, and the uh, I'll show a video of it. It cut it out beautifully. It's uh, very, very little charring or smoke or any problems. The air assist works great. Okay. First test, did it cut through? It looks like it did. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Wow, look at the back. Wow. Look how clear that is. It's clean. It, the back is clean. Very few lasers have I ever seen that. A couple of tiny little smoke marks on the hat here on the front, but geez, that is great. And listen to that, the fan turned off. Can you hear anything? I can hear the traffic, but that's all I can hear. Uh, for engraving, the air assist stays on just a tiny little bit to keep the smoke off of your laser head. But then when you want to cut that air, that air will turn on full blast. It is, I, of course, if you're lose, using light burn, I should make that. Uh, everybody should get light burn. So everything starts adding up, you know, if you want to get into lasers, I could see where, you know, you spend $800 on a laser, then you got to spend another $50 on the light burn, and then you got to get an enclosure. Uh, by the way, just a quick note, uh, Creality did send me an enclosure. Uh, I do not recommend that enclosure. Uh, I recommend actually something like this, and uh, unfortunately, you can't get it on Amazon, and I think the uh, Creality, you're going to have to uh, order straight from the company as well, but I don't think you pay tax when you order straight from the company here. I'm not sure. So you should check that out, but it's on sale for $430. I think that's a pretty good price. I think for 500, maybe it's a little much and you start looking at the 20 watt, but for 400, 430, I, I think, uh, you get a lot for what you're paying for, for this machine. And, uh, actually, I found uh, uh, Acemer sent me this uh, enclosure, which is really nice. Uh, 
at for sixty dollars. So if you could buy this, the reason why I recommend this one over is it has a larger fan size that is very quiet. This is a four inch fan. So if you could find one, you know, look on Amazon if you want to get a an enclosure. All of these are mostly the same enclosure, maybe with different names on it or something like this. These these all have this three inch fan, and it's pretty loud and it's not very good. Uh, but if you could find one with a four inch fan, you're going to be way better off as far as sound wise goes. This particular one, uh, all the smoke came out of, I'll put it in the description. This isn't an affiliate link. I, I just thinking if you're going to spend, uh, if you want to save money, you know, and try and buy something inexpensive, you buy this $430 amazing laser, then you get, and that's quiet. You're going to want a an enclosure that is also goes with that. It's very quiet. So the entire thing, when it's on and running fast, can't even barely hear it. It is, it's, it's, for somebody who works with lasers all day long, it is a, a really nice change of pace. So that is one of the reasons why I recommend this. It isn't just because of the uh, air turning off. And the fact that the air works with light burn, that's amazing. But it really does a great job uh, with everything. Now, if you're somebody for eighth inch material, this is great. It's going to work great. I get my wood from craft closets, very consistent. Uh, and the eighth inch cuts out beautifully with the 10 watt. Now, if you're somebody who's going to work with actual quarter inch, like this is a, this is over a quarter inch maple. It's it's slightly over an actual quarter inch. So when they say quarter inch, they usually mean like five millimeter. This is an actual over six mill six and a half millimeter hard maple. It took five passes to cut through this. Now it did it, and the charring, no charring, amazing, super clean. I mean, look how clean that is. I don't have very many lasers that are going to do it this cleanly. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. I mean, when it when it came out, I'll do a picture of it. Uh, you know, the engraving looks really nice. It's very crisp. Uh, and this is just me guesstimating the settings. <laughs> I didn't even do a test here. I know you're supposed to, but I kind of know, you know, I've worked with enough lasers. I think I pretty much nailed it. Maybe a little too dark, too deep, but that's kind of fun sometimes, I, you know? You know, you want to sand it or something. It's nice and deep. But this came out super clean for being that thick. But, again, five passes. You know, it's going to start taking too long to be able to make anything. You're just going to want to jump up to the next size laser. But if you just want to make some... Uh, there are so many things that you can make with uh, eighth-inch... I've showed many people, you know, the purses that I make. It, it, there's a unlimited amount of things you can make with eighth inch. And not only that, you can layer it, you know, uh, like I layer this. But there's a lot of things, you know, the uh, bottle openers I make. Uh, this is just eighth inch on both sides. They look fantastic. Uh, leather, you want to make a leather wallet like, you know, like in my videos. Um, that's a great way to go. So there is a lot you could do with this laser, and I would love to inspire people to get into lasers. And if there's a lot of people out there that are like, hey, I, you know, I just can't spend the money on a 20 or 30 watt laser. Well, just keep an eye on this one. Uh, I would rather if somebody's going to buy a 10 watt laser to go ahead and get this one than uh, the other ones that I've seen on the market. It's just a complete amazing job here and uh i guess if i'm gonna um say some negatives here is that i don't think this is upgradable i have contacted the company i will pin it to the top comment if i get anything back from them or when i do but i creality does make uh higher powered lasers but i don't think they have all of the features this one does it's certainly not for the price but it would be nice if you could upgrade this into a 20 watt I don't know if this gantry can really help. You know, you're 
with this style, you're not going to get too much faster than 6,000 millimeters per minute, which is fine. You know, for a 10 watt, that's perfect. For a 20 watt, you may want to work a little faster and, uh, you probably won't be able to do that with this particular uh, setup. Now, it is a little bit over 400 by 400, so the size is right. Uh, everything, you know, I'm going to make a couple more videos. In fact, I think I'm going to do some leather on this one next. Uh, I am having a blast with it. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed watching it work, and the fact that I wasn't being annoyed <laughs> by any fans or, and, the, you know, the air was coming on perfectly. This is uh this is pretty fun, so uh it you know and I'll let you know I re I've been reviewing a couple other layer uh, lasers this weekend, and it wasn't fun. Uh, things weren't working, you know. It wasn't doing what it was supposed to do in some cases, and it just really takes the fun out of lasers when that's the case. But this one did everything I expected it to do and was better, and it. it Literally, the end of the day of me working with this laser, I felt good. I felt happy. I felt, oh, yeah, this is why I love lasers. So that's that. And uh, just check it out. Again, I think if it's not on sale, the price might be a little high. But I do like it at between 400 and 430 I think that's a great price right now. Uh, for lasers. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.